Getting it wrong can mean missing out on a huge potential opportunity or wasting time and money on a dud. That's why in this video, we're gonna cover which trends could skyrocket your business this year and which ones you can safely ignore. Starting with something that's exploding right now. After you give your email address in return for a PDF or newsletter, also known as an opt-in, you might be directed to a page that gives you some multiple choice questions for self-identification. For example, if I was a health coach, I might ask how much weight you wanna lose, your gender, and how long you've been trying to lose weight. The idea is that this helps the business owner better customize their content and marketing specifically for you. But there's a big problem with this. To truly do this, you'd have to be able to track each user perfectly and rearrange your website and user journey for each person. But the current tech just isn't up for the task yet. Plus, and this matters more for you, there's always noise about the hottest new trend. But most of the time, like in this case, it makes things unnecessarily complicated. Here in LZ land, we keep it simple, no matter what anyone else is saying. Yes, personalizing messaging to some extent can be helpful, but if you're not at seven to eight figures in your business yet, this is not the year to be hyper-personalizing anything. Instead, I've got a much better option for you. Plus, when you do it this way, it's gonna make it simpler for you and your customers because you are going to focus on just one core client. That makes it a lot easier to learn what they want so you can create the best product to address their needs. And in most cases, that's how you'll scale to seven figures a lot faster anyways. But if you're wondering how to communicate with your ideal customer, here is a definite do for you. It's not new or unique to me by any means, but it's so important, I've gotta call it out. How often do you find yourself talking about something you saw on a video versus something you read on an article or Instagram caption? It's not just you. The data tells us that people retain 95% of a video versus just 10% of something they read. That's one of the reasons we doubled down on YouTube this last year and will continue to do so this year. Because video communicates emotion, subtext, and storytelling better than any other form of media. But that does not mean you have to start a YouTube channel. In fact, I wouldn't recommend it if you're newer in business. Because to give you an idea, I personally spend a significant amount of time each week on every video. And I also have a producer, an editor, and a designer to help me. It is very resource intensive, but you can still make video marketing work for you by choosing any platform that you want and simply making video a consistent part of your content. Before committing to YouTube, I started with Periscopes back when they were a thing. And after that, for years, I just did Facebook live streams from my laptop. But if you're like me and content creation doesn't come naturally to you, we need to talk about a trap that so many people are raving about right now. It's a trap. Back when I was first starting out, writing emails and marketing posts felt like pulling teeth. It used to take me three hours to write even a short 300 word email. So I know how tempting it can feel to think about having AI create content for you. But this eliminates one of your most important advantages for growth. Your content is a unique window into what makes you unique. And that's what persuades people to trust you with their time and money. So high five to that. Now I'm not saying AI doesn't have its uses. Even though my husband likes to call me a tech grandma, I will use new tech when I think it actually adds value. For example, lately I've been using AI to help me write job descriptions, but relying on it too much can be a big problem. In fact, there's even software whose whole purpose is to determine whether a piece of content has been written by AI or an actual human being. The crazy thing is, it is able to tell with 99% accuracy because all AI generated content shares certain characteristics. That's a huge part of the reason it can feel so flat and boring. 
which is the complete opposite of what you want to do when your goal is to stand out through your content. But there is one AI trend that I do think it would be wise to use. And I personally experienced this through a crisis that happened to my favorite cleaning brand, cause I love my cleaning and organization. Last year, the laundress discovered that their formulas contained a cancer causing bacteria, which triggered a massive product recall. So I went to their website to participate, but what I found surprised me. Instead of a confusing online form, I was greeted by a very smart chatbot that painlessly helped me through the entire process. But the important thing was, I didn't feel like the interaction was impersonal. Instead, I really appreciated they had set up such an effective customer service tool that made everything so efficient for me all without having to wait and talk to an actual person, which my introvert self kind of loved. An undeniable trend is that when it comes to customer support, customers are being trained to expect ever faster gratification. But depending on where you are in your business, you might not have the team and resources to meet those demands. That's why personally, I am gonna keep my eye on this, but it's not a focus for LZ land, at least not this year. The reason? I still maintain that ideal clients, especially if you provide a service or info product, are patient-ish and self-led. But if I were to do something like this, I would add a chatbot that helps visitors connect to the information on the website that will best help them. Because that's more about helping your ideal clients help themselves, which is also a key thing to keep in mind. With these trends, it's not black and white. If it helps you, use it. If not, leave it. To be honest, that is something I never thought I would hear myself say. If you remember, back when ChatGPT first came out, marketers were panicking. It's gonna take our jobs. But there's a scientific reason you don't have to worry about that. We are hardwired to connect through storytelling. And while AI can write a story about an entrepreneur who overcame all odds to achieve her dream life, it's never going to be as impactful as me sharing my personal experience going from a cockroach infested Bronx apartment to running a multi-million dollar business. The truth is, as AI gets more and more common, it's actually going to be easier than ever for you to stand out especially if your competitors start forgetting the thing that helps us most connect with our clients, being human. That's why learning how to tell your stories well is more important than ever. The good news is this is how I've always done and teach content and marketing. So if you're following the advice I share on this channel, you are golden, but there is one huge don't that often slips through the cracks. Because while it's awesome that it's never been easier to start your own business, the flip side means that sometimes people can take it a little too easy. For example, I have a friend who recently purchased a course only to find that it was just that creator's free stuff repackaged. And unfortunately, this isn't even the first time this has happened to someone I know. Now, I'm not saying everyone is doing this for sneaky reasons. In fact, I absolutely believe we should all create courses because we all have skills and knowledge that can help others. But the problem is teaching your skill is a completely different area of mastery than knowing the skill you help people with. But this isn't to discourage you. In fact, I think it's absolutely possible to create a first time course that people love. And we talk a lot about that on this channel, but you've got to work on both. And it's not just the product delivery of your business either. It's your entire back end. For example, I recently had an issue where I had to call a company's customer support, but the team member they'd hired was young and inexperienced. Just need a little more practice. What you need is cheat codes. They didn't have a lot of knowledge about their product. Not only was it incredibly frustrating, but it tainted my view of that company. I'm not going to buy from them again. As you're focused on growing your business, don't forget to invest the time and energy into growing your back end as well, especially if you want your business to last. But if you're still trying to figure out what your business could even be, I've got some inspiration for you. In this next video, we will explore five different ways you can get to 10K per month using your skills right now. Plus, you will see how to hit the ground running so you start seeing growth in your business and bank account fast.